morning and welcome to our daily prayers. It's Thursday. Some of you may know my father lives in a care home in Guernsey in the Channel Islands and we're selling the house that we all used to live in as a family. My sister and I have been going backwards and forwards and I was there the other day and um, just preparing to return on an early morning flight back to the, the mainland and as I was waiting to be picked up um, I went into the garden almost to say goodbye to it really and the garden was waking up there were birds all around me beginning to sing and it was the most beautiful experience a real sense of God's presence with me as I started that day well I pray too that you will know God's presence with you as you begin this day let's pray together O Lord, open our lips, and our mouth shall proclaim your praise. The night has passed, and the day lies open before us. Let us pray with one heart and mind. As we rejoice in the gift of this new day, so may the light of your presence, O God, set our hearts on fire with love for you now and forever. Amen. Our passage is now just after Jesus has been arrested. Luke 22 at verse 54. And seizing Jesus, they led him away and took him into the house of the high priest. Peter, who was one of the disciples, followed at a distance. And when some there had kindled a fire in the middle of the courtyard and had sat down together, Peter sat down with them. A servant girl saw him seated there in the firelight. She looked closely at him and said, This man was with him. As I think I've mentioned in the lead up to the crucifixion, we see different people, as it were, fail all around Jesus. And perhaps here's one of the saddest one of Jesus' staunchest disciples, courageous Peter. His courage is failing him here. As Jesus is arrested, Peter suddenly loses his courage. He still follows, but notice Luke says, at a distance. He doesn't want to get too associated with Jesus at this point. And at a distance, he watches Jesus go in for his trial. And then presumably thinks he's safe. Um, people are settling down. There's a fire going. It's probably cold. It's night. So Jesus, uh, Peter begins to warm himself by the fire. But the light of the fire presumably is what exposes his face. And here he is recognised. And possibly Luke, by noting who recognises him, is highlighting how Peter's courage has left him. Even in front of a lowly servant girl, Peter's not prepared to confess that he even knows Jesus. It's a really sad, knee-jerk reaction. And if we're honest, at different times, we all do that. In the moment, our courage can fail us. In the moment, it's difficult to say we're Christians, we come to church, we have fellowship with other Christians. Let's pray for the courage to do just that in sensitive and courageous ways. Space for our prayers now. And so as our Saviour has taught us, so we pray. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come. Your will be done on earth as in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. Forgive us our sins as we forgive those who sin against us. Lead us not into temptation. 
but deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Amen. And so may the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with us all, now and forevermore. Amen.